Good evening. Oh, God, this camera's on the monk. Oh, there you are. That's a bit better. All right, there, peeps. God, gotta set this camera up properly. It's on a weird angle. Um, hi, right, peeps. It's uh, Barry Janavis, your local crazy artist who lives in Brighton, who used to live in Cardiff. Um, back on another story time video. So, um, what should we talk about today? Art oh, education. There you go. So, what I learned and what I did learn. So, in school, I did GCSE art. And I uh, didn't have the best art teacher, but she was okay. Um, then went on to do uh, an A level in fine art, in art. And uh, I also did uh, design technology. So I did that as a GCSE and then I did an A level. And I found that to be more creative than doing fine art or art, GCSE A level. And uh, I went on to do um, a foundation course in Carmarthen, which I don't know if you've ever, ever you've been to Carmarthen, is it's basically in the middle of, well, it's in Carmarthenshire, in, in, in Wales. I've never been somewhere where it rained so much in my entire life. So yeah, so we used to get the bus every day. It was a load of us from Milford Haven, where I'm from. And we get the bus over there and it would take, I feel like an hour or so. I don't know. But then this bus would also take school kids from the sort of local areas to this Welsh speaking school. And uh, it was good fun. Um, and you sort of have a bit of a sleep on the bus and sort of wake up. Oh, yeah, here we are. Wander up the hill to oh, get off the bus to do my foundation. And there I was taught by a great guy called Ozzy Reese Osmond, who's no longer with us, Christine Kinsey, another artist called Tim Davis, uh, John Selway, who's a printmaker who didn't stop swearing, who was absolutely amazing, loved him. It was brilliant. And I got really into video because I used to skateboard. Um, well, I used to skateboard a lot. So me and, my, me and my boys would go out and I got a camcorder and I started making videos on an old like, VHS handy hell thing. And um, brilliant fun they were. And I started making video pieces and because I, I was really excited by video because it was like, ooh, new and sexy and cool. Uh, and like now everybody's got a you know, camera in their pocket on their phone to do video. And uh, I, I loved it. So I made loads and loads of videos. And Ozzy at the time said to me, ah, oh, Southampton's good for video. And I was like, all right. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to London after my foundation course. So I decided that I was going to go to... Yeah, so I, I, I applied for Cardiff and I applied for Southampton. And I remember going on the bus to the interview in Southampton with my big portfolio folder. Getting off the bus going, oh my god, don't know where I am. And you didn't have mobile, I didn't have mobile phone then, this is before mobile phones. And I remember, got to this, um, my mother booked this uh, bed and breakfast for me to stay. So I got up in the morning. Uh, I went for my interview. I think they tell, I can't remember if they tell you straight away. But I got into Southampton. And then it was like a month or something later, I got an interview for Cardiff to do a degree there. And there was a couple of, girl, there was a couple of girls who also applied to Cardiff to do their degree there from my foundation. But then I kind of changed my mind. I was like, no, I, I liked Southampton. It was big city, far away, not in Wales, totally alien. And there was a guy f from school called Scott Richards and he had gone there and I thought, oh, well, I can't, that's all right. So yeah, spent three years in time-based media not sure what time-based media was. All I knew it was painting and it wasn't sculpture. So me and a few others used to spend most of the time on Apple Macs, um, 
doing things in Photoshop and I don't know, making Vic websites and doing other kind of random stuff. And I remember like there was a few people on my course who just seemed to not be there because in time base you didn't need to be there. You could sort of sign in and then get a camcorder and go off and make a film that day or go off and take photographs or do whatever or sit in the light, you know. Spend a lot of time reading books. The internet kind of started, so I remember I discovered that I could go online in the library and I'd be online until the library closed. So I'd be doing a lot of that and I also worked out that it was something to do that was free. And then also Southampton City, or Southampton Institute, where I went, had an amazing video selection. So I used to sit there and watch endless amounts of videos on artists. It was all on VHS. You'd go and get them from the shelf and pop them in. So I loved doing that. And that, uh, yeah, it just absorbed art history. And there was like lots of books on conceptual art and like Bruce Nauman and anything in that kind of space, conceptual art. Um, I, I discovered like, artists like Robert Barry and oh there's so many it was just and um the um Keith Arnett and uh, so yeah I really enjoyed just absorbing the knowledge but didn't really learn anything about editing video we did have a it was VHS to VHS we didn't really do yeah. uh did do a workshop on how to stretch a canvas but I remember some of the canvases I made were just diabolical but I remember one, the, the biggest paint I ever made, which is in Southampton, which I managed to order some wood from this wood place, and I made this paint, which was six metres long by a metre and a half, which is still the biggest paint I've ever made in my entire life. So that was in Southampton. And, um, yeah, I learned a lot about the history of art and the conceptual art sort of history and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, came from Southampton and then went back to Pembrokeshire and then went, I need to do something. And then my good friend James said to me, there's a room in a house in Cardiff. So we went <laughs> and, uh, and I spent 16 years in Cardiff, of which during that time, Apart from doing loads of artwork, meeting loads of cool people, I did my master's degree, uh, which is uh, UIC, which well, it was called UIC, but it's like Cardiff Metropolitan University now, and uh, that was that was amazing. So I kind of went from my foundation course, where it was really like encouraging you to do stuff, to a degree where they were a bit like, mm, you know. And there was some there was some interesting tutors when I was in um, Southampton, um, but I did find the masters. It was just like it was like oh I'm going to do whatever I want. So I kind of explored value and materials and humour. Got into David Shrigley and other kind of yeah Banksy and didn't really get yeah. And it wasn't towards yeah. It was just, and it was making things out of whatever you could make things out of. I think at the time I remember not having a lot of money, so it was drawing on anything, making things out of anything, and building anything. And it wasn't like I didn't want it. The other thing is, I didn't think anybody would ever buy anything, so I didn't really consider what I was making commercial. So, yeah, so it's quite interesting that now in 2024 living in Brighton some of the work that I've started making in the beginning of this year kind of goes back to using humour much more oh like, I don't know there's always been humour in my work I suppose but really put it's not caring to, not giving a shit too much possibly um so yeah so I've um that was my, my art education. But then I always think you never stop learning and you never stop educating yourself. So I've, um, I did I did enjoy my master's degree. I met some really cool people who are still friends and I catch up with them when I can. When I can. And also I had my studio, which was in um, Cardiff at Kings Road, which is in Pomcana in Cardiff. 
and I made loads of good stuff there and yeah I definitely think if you're considering art education I don't know how expensive it is now all I know is when I did my degree I had a grant and that sort of thing doesn't exist under the current government so um, I just yeah I think art education was was amazing but like I don't know it was it's well, equally going back to being in Southampton uh, I used to we used to get dragged to all these sort of lectures on architecture and fashion and photography and film and all sorts of stuff and I really liked um, yeah I really liked being able to um, learn about other stuff it wasn't just sit there looking about how to draw and paint and stuff but and yeah, I don't know and I suppose when I did my MA the conceptual side of art was was definitely something that sort of flicked my switch because I was like oh we do you know and philosophy as well so yeah so I thought I'd uh, do another video a bit of storytelling with Barry J Davis video I'll upload this soon as and um, yeah if you um if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok or any of my socials, then you know what to do. And also, if you really want to not miss out on anything, I've got a mailing list which you can join. But that's been uh, today's sort of story time. Uh, thank you for watching if you've sat through the whole of this. And, uh, and I will endeavour to make another video soon. But I don't know when. I think these might overtake my, my podcasts because I think podcasts, you, you, I don't know. I could turn this into a podcast, I suppose. Mm. There is, I've got a podcast. It's on iTunes and Spotify. Good fun there. But I like the idea with a podcast of having other people to talk to. So the last one I did with um, my friend Beaver, Beaver and um, Fanny Feeling was, was brilliant. So yeah, I want to go back to doing some more of that as well. Not just making stuff, uh, talking to other artists and things. So um, down in Brighton. And if you're an artist in Brighton, send me a message, reach out. Right, I'm going to go now. I'll see you later. Bye.